Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, 2005 Guy of Road 2. Okay, so I've got another scam alert for you guys, albeit uh, this is not your typical scam. Um, but it is a scam in a sense, as in where it, where it says over here, it says we recently contacted you, to you about your new smart meter, which can be delivered and installed for you from 11th of Jan. A, we were not contacted. B, we did not um, say a date for them to uh, be able to install it. And the um, only way they can install this in this house is over either either over my dead body or in a Faraday cage, which is earthed, i.e. no signals can uh, leave it. Uh, so that means no dirty EM radiation. Um, so, looking at this uh, little uh, thing that came through, I went, have they somehow made smart meters mandatory? And I looked it up, and lo and behold, it is not mandatory. It's just suggested. Uh, so, if they do turn up um, at this house at, on the 11th of Jan, they're going to get the door right back in their freaking face. Um, Basically, the, the main reason why we chose to move to this address um, was nice size of the rooms. Um, did not know about the noise. Uh, could have done without the noise. But the absolute main reason why I chose this house, no smart meter. Um, so apparently smart meters are not mandatory. It's uh, just a suggestion by the government. And... Um, yeah, they, they try to uh, force everyone to, uh, to get it because they can then remotely switch off only your house or they can limit the amount of um, electricity that can come to your house uh, as per A21, uh, which was released somewhere in, well, five, six years ago, maybe seven now. Uh, five years ago was the first or the last time I read through it completely and... Uh, Smart meters were in it, um, not by the name of smart meters, but it was there, uh, along with all the crap that's happening, well, has been happening over the last year or so, uh, including what's about to happen, which is also not nice. Um, I would normally say Happy New Year to everyone, but uh, I would say if we had a nuclear bunker or something where we could get get out of the fallout that's about to happen, I would say uh, go into that nuclear bunker for six months at least uh, and make sure that you've got plenty of food and supplies in it. Um, it's not that we've got a food shortage because we don't. It's just produce, which I don't tend to eat anyway. I haven't eaten any fruits or veg for at least 32 years. And that whole BS saying that uh, you can't survive without it. Well, I'm living proof you can live without it. Um, so, uh, yeah, if I, if I try to eat it now, I get absolute terrible food poisoning. Um, and, uh, yeah, just not worth the pain. But, uh, when it comes to these, uh, meters, do not let yourself get bullied or cheated into, uh, buying into this crap. Okay, I'm going to leave it with that for the moment. So if you've liked the video and you think you've been well informed, Please leave a like. If you don't and you think that I'm t uh, talking out of BS, then by all means leave a dislike. But uh, if you read through that document, you'll find it's 100% 100 the truth. But uh, that's if you can find that document nowadays. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of uh, places that uh, had it, they're no longer around. Wonder why. Okay, so hope that you've enjoyed this little uh, scam video. And I hope to see you guys in the normal videos up, uh, which are coming up. 